Hey everybody, here I am again. So today, I'm just doing a quick demo on how to make your own creamed honey. Beautiful, and it stops your honey in the long term from uh, candying. So you can get the granular sugar in the, the honey. Once you cream it, it won't go any further than that. It will stay creamed and you can keep it indefinitely in your cupboard and you're good to go. So to start with, you're gonna need some of your beautiful raw honey out of your hives and you're gonna need a starter culture. So to start your first one, you do need to get some candied um, honey. So get that and you just need to dry it out. So dry it out on a plate or something like that. You don't need too much of it, but just, yeah, you, you want it to be able to be dried enough that you can actually crush it up in a mortar and pestle. All right, so that's all you do. Let it dry out. When it's dry enough, you crush into a mortar and pestle and that's, that's your starter culture. It's as easy as that. Or alternatively, once you get going, um, if you've got some left over from your last lot, that's also good enough. So you just keep going with that one. Um, the longer, if you start off with your own starter culture, you may find that the first couple are a little bit grainy. The more you develop that culture, it's like a sourdough, the better it is. So anyway, believe it or not, when you cream the honey, you don't whip it. If you put too much air into the honey itself, uh, you'll actually break down the flavors in it. So whipping it, you know, like you would do with cream or whatever, that's not gonna give you what you want. It is literally as simple as getting your starter culture, so your previous one or whatever, all right. Getting a, a good fat old teaspoon of it. Now if it's hard like this one, you gotta soften it up a bit. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix that into your raw honey. Give it a good mix around. All right, you don't want any lumps or bumps. And you want to make sure that as much of that honey is exposed to your culture as possible. And it's going to give you beautiful results. Now, the difference between candied honey and creamed honey. Candied honey is uh, an unrefined version, so it's just left to crystallize of its own devices. Uh, creamed honey, on the other hand, you introduce the culture. And the one more important step that you need to do is you actually finalize this in the fridge. So once you've mixed it in, get all those bits through, stick that in the fridge for three weeks minimum, uh, the longer the better, but once it's fully creamed, then you can keep it in the cupboard. It's not gonna go anywhere, but when you crystallize it in the cooler controlled temperatures, that's how you get the creamed effect. Okay, so important, at least three weeks in your fridge, and then, yeah, you're done, good to go, all right? So don't forget to subscribe, and watch some of my other videos, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.